Welcome back everybody, joined by head swimming coach Brad Thornton. A couple days before his men and women take on TCNJ Saturday afternoon at the, the Dubon Aquatic Center. Coach, thanks for the time. I know uh, you're, you're pretty tight in the practice schedule. Yeah, no problem. Um, Stevens women, some tough competition to start, uh, you know, tough loss to D1 Columbia, D1 to St. Peter's, um, and then also a pretty good performance at the NYU Fall Invitational. Uh, where are we at with the women's program? What are some, some highlights early on? Uh, so far with the women's program, we have been battling a couple injuries, sickness, things like that. They're fairly normal for this time of year. Uh, we, don't, we don't have the numbers we've had in the past where we've had 25 girls. Uh, we're kind of right at 18, um, so we sort of have to rely on everyone. Uh, but, but right now we're looking pretty good going into our rest period, getting ready for ECACs, and I think TCNJ will be a good gauge for us. Uh, and there are a couple girls that kind of haven't had a chance to shine yet, uh, and I, I think they're ready to have some breakout in-season swims leading up into ECACs. Coach, the guys have come out very strong, convincing win uh, over St. Peter's in the season opener, and then a really solid win at the NYU Fall Invite a couple weeks ago. Guys are swimming really well. Um, What's going right? Uh, I think our men's senior class is one of the strongest senior classes we've ever had. Uh, and those guys kind of know what to do, how to do it, and how to swim fast in season. So they've been doing a great job. Uh, and then additionally, our sophomore class on the men's side has really had an opportunity this year to kind of step up and take that, that NCAA role. Uh, and they, they've done a great job so far, kind of sliding themselves onto A relays or just sort of carrying the team on their back to, to have some fast swims and compete with those seniors. And I think there's a couple freshmen that still haven't shown what they're capable of, but are, but are starting to move in that direction. Um, the TCNJ meet, especially home, is always is always fast, is always exciting. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great atmosphere, you know. In this, you know, kind of a small small environment, gets really loud. What are you know, who are some of the women that you think might step up and, and really uh, kind of thrive off the environment and, and might succeed, maybe hit that next level this weekend? Uh, I think a, a couple girls are kind of poised for more of a breakout meet. Uh, I think Elizabeth Heimbach uh, can really show what she's capable of in the distance events. She's, she's the type of swimmer who gets faster throughout the year. She doesn't necessarily start off as her best distance swimmer, but she will get there. Uh, and then I think Jen Rutledge uh, is pretty excited for rest. Um, you know, she is one of the fastest sprinters in the country, um, but hasn't really shown that yet. But I think uh, with the start of our rest, I think she, it's, it's going to come out a little bit more at this meet. And obviously, Danielle Caruso has been swimming great so far, um, but I still think she's capable of a little bit more and will probably throw a full schedule at her to see how she handles it for the second half of the season. Uh, last one for you. The men's matchup pits two nationally ranked teams, Ducks in the top 10, Stevens women also in the top 10, but the TCN, TCNJ men and Stevens men, both nationally ranked, um, should be an awesome meet. What are some keys, You know, maybe some differences, but some keys in, in winning that meet for your guys on Saturday? Yeah, TCNJ has been historically good at the sprints. Um, and this year is kind of no different, but uh, our senior class is kind of full of sprinters, so we're going to hopefully uh, do what we normally don't do against them, which is win some sprint events, would be nice. Uh, and on the distance side, we've historically been very, very good at the distance events, uh, and they're, this year they're particularly strong in those. So a couple of our freshmen and underclassmen really have to step up in those events and, and hopefully steal some points and make it a, make it a really good meet. Um, hopefully we come out on top, but we'll see what happens. Well, Coach, thanks for the time. Best of luck, Steven Swimming versus TCNJ. Saturday afternoon right here at 1 p.m. Uh, hopefully we get a lot of fans out to support you guys uh, on Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Rob.